Twenty Sided Stories has absolutely no affiliation with Marvel Studios, Marvel Entertainment, the Walt Disney Company, or any other associates or official canon. This is a fan-made parody piece created in fair use, and all mentioned names, products, trademarks, and copyrights are the property of their respective owners. The bulk of what you're about to hear was recorded live by improvisers who love the MCU, and we're so excited for you to join us on the super-powered adventure. Thank you. And welcome to Twenty Sided Stories. You're listening to... It's getting worse out there, people. Um, there's unexplained murders, there's monsters, there's open acts of violence in the streets. It's going nonstop. I've been saying it for a, a lot of years now. I'm saying it again. I feel like I'm turning myself blue saying it. Where are the people who are supposed to be protecting us? In my days as a cop, I uh, actually had some contacts in between them and uh, our people at Castle. I've heard some stories, but I never said them on air before because they're too out of this world. The hypothesis is that a giant gorilla man came out of space and used some kind of weapon. I don't know what weapon. Maybe it was experimental government technology. Maybe it was this or that. And this gorilla guy, un unidentified, out of nowhere, because of all this super activity, is the one who blighted half of the world out of existence if not the universe. And when I asked my contact, who taught this gorilla monster where the, where the weapons were, who showed them where the weapons were, you know what he said? The Avengers did. The Avengers showed him. So there's this recurring theme I'm seeing where the people who are supposed to be keeping us safe are actually, who's supposed to protect us from the people who are supposed to be protecting us? That's my only point. So, hoping to, hoping hoping that everything's going well with everybody else. You stay classy, Los Angeles, and God bless. And now we're going to go over to uh, live coverage of a ballet recital over at Pendleton Middle School. All right, thanks. Every bullet in the gun. Every oh, single fuck. lizard person running this shop just got shot in the head. Oh god, he killed them all. What? The, the lizard he women and the all. lizard children? Including the lizard women and the lizard children. He, he shot them all. I'm going in. He shot You're going in? No. Spencer uses the key card in the heat of the moment. He doesn't want lives to be lost. The door is opened. And they're gone. Where did they go? I'm trying to figure oh, it out. Oh, God. Masha, it smells like Rose in there. What? It smells like Rose. Like our sister Rose or like the flower Rose? Who's Rose? That's our sister. Our sister oh. Rose. Eric is watching as he has tapped into clone Eric, and it seems that they jumped through some sort of shortcut using the sewer system under LA, and they're just flying real fast, just trucking on through. It's they're a fan boat. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for them gators in the sewer. <laughs> they're plowing through the sewers, turning left and right, and they're getting further and further away in this fan boat. And they splash out of the spillway into the LA River. But then Clone Eric looks over, and a trench coat cultist hits him in the head. Real Eric has lost contact. What are you seeing? Where'd they go? I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. They got in a... <laughs> they got in a fan boat. What? And they took off through the sewers. And... What did they say? I have... They... Something about the tiebreaker. That's where they're taking you. They... That's apparently... It. That's the end. The... It's the tiebreaker. That's what they've been trying to do. 
Maybe we can go. Uh, can can we go down there and heal them Wait, or something? I just want to check in, Spencer. Are you okay? Can you do you know who we are? Like you just did a lot of yeah, work you did. to conjure clone Eric. That was the most taxing, difficult power Spencer has ever done. But I'm gonna let it be up to him how much it made him forget because he did roll really high. I mean, I'm still kind of trying to piece together you guys' names, but I don't think much else is gone. But right. aside okay. from most of today, like I don't really know where I'm at. Oh, and we're on I- a hero mission. You're saving the day. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. A lot more than I did. Twice. Yeah, you, you did a lot for us, Spencer. I'm sorry we made you do that. No, it's fine. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't have done it. We really appreciate it. I think this is a huge breakthrough. We, we know there's a tiebreaker person, entity, somewhere out there. And now, cool, we can report back to Roach and Siggy. I thank you, Spencer, for helping us. Um, my name is Masha. Okay, Masha. AKA Roulette. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm Lily and this is Eric. Our heroes come back to the fort with Spencer, who's having a hard time remembering why he did this. But Theo greets them, because he's got good news. Hey, I've got something. What? Who are you? Uh, oh, God. Um, hi, Theo. We met before. We, um, he used his powers, and it took a lot out of him. I imagine. Do you, would you like some cookies? Would you like some <laughs> coffee? Yes. The answer will always be yes. <laughs> okay, come in. Um, come in. They rush down to the lab. And everybody notices that Theo is particularly excited and, and energized. Spencer, there's something... I, I mean, I've, I've had a theory for a good year now, but it's something about the nature of your abilities and a commonality I've identified here. I've taken blood samples of a lot of the supers here, and a lot of them have a common element, but I couldn't lock it in. It's, it's not the gamma. It's coming from a source, and... Here, let me show you. There's a gene here that you have in common with Siggy, Short Circuit, Matter of Fact, and with a number of the other people that we can have you talk to. This is the source. I don't know exactly what it is, but this is the thing. This is what gives you your abilities. So I'm not alone. You are not alone. You're unique, but that that was the thing that was so hard to pin down. With everybody, it was manifesting in different ways, but maybe there was a common ground, maybe they were pulling from another dimension, but with you, I mean, reality manipulation, that is not common. This is something new. And this is going to help us help other people, not only in the fort, but everywhere, at least understand that you're working from common ground. Holy shit. Thank you, person I just met. <laughs> Thank you for... I, yeah, this was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm really processing. This is huge. I, 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 just, know, it's a, I know it's a lot. You can sit down. Do you want Do you want to meet my cat? Do you like cats? Do you this have is those toffee. Cookies? Toffee comes in. Oh, here, yeah. Here's toffee cookies and, and toffee the cat. I find she has a calming effect. Is there like actual toffee? Yes, yes. Oh, here great. you go. No, I got that. And coffee. Right. Okay. I mean, I have a whole snack... Uh, pantry, go, go you know, for it. You just lay it on me, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Theo, uh, not to drop a bomb or anything, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, he made a, an entire clone of Eric, and that clone is uh, being taken to some entity called Tiebreaker. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, I created life today. He created yeah. a whole Suck Eric. it, God. Whole- like, like a simulacrum, <laughs> or are we talking like an identical... It's, uh, it's Eric. Yeah. It's Eric. Wait. It's an identical Eric. Does it ha- Did it have your clothing? Yeah. So it has your phone? Yeah. And it has access to your accounts? Yeah. So we can track him? Maybe. I do know how to make a phone. Episode 7. Scry me a river. Okay, so... I think I need to tell you this. Like, I tell you this anyways because I tell you everything, but, like, I need to tell you this. What? What? It's, it's, it's what? with work. Things are going... Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm flustered. Huh? Babe, listen, it's just that... Should I get my notebook out? Yeah, please. Might as well. Okay. Um, 
so like things are going we're going well at work and yeah. I'm just hearing word that like you know we're, we're still putting stuff back we're still putting stuff back together there's a lot of crime in the streets and there's getting to be too much and the organization's getting a little they're getting nervous so they thought you know well what can we do let's let's maybe consolidate uh consolidate our organization with another like upcoming power and uh, sorry I'm, wait i can't think straight i'm sorry if i ask questions will that help yeah, interview me be be uh, do do the the job your work wants is struggling with all the new crime that's happening and they want to outsource yes they're yes outsource like contract they're they've Ooh. been in the and to what you know the castle stark Souls yeah. place. it's just it makes me nervous because I've been hearing all these whispers about, you know, a new approach to law enforcement in this new world, this new normal. And essentially, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s looking to integrate the castle into their organization and what? take this new... Uh, it just feels super authoritarian. And like, you know, the last time this happened, someone tried to, 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 to police the world. They, a city fell out of the sky. And I just, I, I'm really uncomfortable. And I think I, I got to quit, like, for real this time. Wait. So S.H.I.E.L.D. wants to hire the castle to become the new police force. Yes, to use. In and L.A. Maybe they're working with Stark. I don't know. Nobody's got tabs on them except for the highest, yeah, the no highest one, brass. There's no, Avengers are not to be seen still. This is I just, know. And it's the, the secrets have started again. And that's the thing that, that made everything go to shit in the first place. And it's like, maybe it's just because I've been at the fort too much. But there's just like, I just got this vibe that just like, it's not, I, I can't do it anymore. You, you can't do it anymore? I don't want to be a part of another... You're going you're gonna to quit? I think so. I think, I think you should talk to Eric about this. I mean, I mean it's, it's just... just last time I talked to him about it, he told me not to quit. quit. So, so I didn't, didn't quit. quit. And, and I'm feeling like maybe I should have, because then I'm working the fort and I like what they're doing. But then, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, I don't know. You guys haven't talked in a while. I mean, do you... We have. I saw him Oh, last... when you stopped by the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was a great article, by the way. Um, Thank you. I, mean, I Thank just, you. always want to piss that out there. Still got it. Uh, why don't we... You should you should Go really talk, talk to him. To him. I, can you come with me though? Yeah, yeah. I, I told Eric I was going to tell him about this. I just he was busy with the job, so. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I wouldn't. Yeah. This is kind of crazy. This is a new world order. That's. Yeah. I don't know how extreme they're trying to go. There's some guy that they said is trying to instigate it. Uh, he's one of the Castletons, and I don't know if this is related to the the, the trench coat people that have been trying to kill Eric, because S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't really have a lot of intel on them, and they just don't think they're a threat for some reason. I've been trying to tell them, but they don't listen to me, so... Yeah, why S.H.I.E.L.D.? Why would S.H.I.E.L.D. choose the castle? What... This makes no sense. I think, yeah. I think we need, need to go talk to Eric. Alright. He's probably at the fort right now. I don't know if they got that job done, but why don't we go over there? Okay. Okay. Thanks, babe. I really appreciate it. Of course. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to face him like this. Um, I feel so responsible for what happened. If anything, it was my fault. It was my stupid fucking idea, and nobody lived. We no, didn't save anybody. It's not any of our fault. Okay, we did everything that we could do. I, th- I think we did a great job, and it's just a misfortunate outcome that was out of our control. We messed with reality in a way that we can't take back. No kidding. I thought that I was going to be able to use the actual power for something that was going to help save lives without some sort of structure that I had to fit into, some sort of organization, and it didn't work and people died. Siggy is standing at the other side of the room. Siggy. Guys? Hi, Siggy. Hi, what's up? You look a little down. How did it go? We got intel. Um. Yeah. I'm going to be honest here. That would be great. Um, the lizard people in the shop were murdered. Murdered? And we did everything we could to stop it because it was a lot happened. Um, what do, you, do you know anything about a t- tiebreaker? Does that mean anything to you? N- no, sorry. Hold on. They're They're dead? Not all, not everybody. There was just a, 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 some... Everybody in the print shop was shot by a man in a trench coat and glasses. Because we were tricked. Damn it! I'm really sorry, Siggy. But, uh, 
Also, other news is Theo found a breakthrough within a gene that apparently you share with Spencer. Uh, I gotta go. I... Who who are these people? The tiebreaker? The guy in a trench coat? Uh, you you know as much as we do. Uh, they, I can they, start they with that. They took off then. in a fucking fan boat down the sewers. It's the guys in trench coats who've been coming after Eric. It, it was them. And they're taking... Well, they're taking Eric to meet the tiebreaker. Right now. Are you, you're what you're doing your power thing? Yeah. No, long story, but we Spencer might have helps. we might have a way to to track them. And as soon as we can crack that, we'll get with the. I, we'll, I can't wait. I can't wait. I have to go. They didn't hurt the people in the sewers. I'm gone. I gotta go. Let people know, and I gotta find out who the fuck did this, and I need to take care of it. Siggy, we're so sorry. Dude, you can't go alone. That's, <sighs> it's gonna be fine. Siggy heads towards the door Ziggy. and pushes door guy out of the way. <laughs> We should, I don't know, let Roach know he's going out on I his gotta, own? I, I gotta go be alone for a while, guys. I'm sorry. I need... He went through the door without letting me go. Chug, 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 chug. It's okay. He's sick. Like he's going through a moment right now, doorman. <laughs> but before the door can be shut back down, L and Daniel Daniels show up. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, door guy, wait. Hold on. Okay. It's, it's me, Agent Fragrant. Yeah, yeah. Emmy, hey. Do, do you remember? Her? Hey, yeah, chug, 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 chug. Well, yeah, whatever. It takes me seriously around here. Hey, you got a brief mention in that article that Bye. I wrote. Yeah. All right. I quoted you. Eric. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. 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 Uh, oh, it's you. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. We kind of have to talk to you. What's going on? You guys remember yeah. L. Uh, yeah, she wrote Lily, that article. Masha, yeah, that. that was me. Yeah. That's good, right? Everything okay? Yeah, it's really well written. I, I thought I was all tensed up, but then even you guys see, feel tensed up. <sighs> so I. We had a really hard mission, and... Um, kind of a lot to unpack right now, so what what's going on? Yeah, what are you guys here for? Oh. Um <clears throat> You said you wanted to you said you wanted to talk about something? Yeah. Uh I don't is now an okay time. Not at this point every I, this all might be anything could help this all might be I mean, it's about it was about work. It was about shield. So I don't know if you want everybody to with the police thing? I What? I didn't I didn't tell you about that. Wait, wait. Yet. how do you know that already? You you, you told me that. Right? About Shield when? and yeah, the when castle we, talk- we passed earlier before you went to the job? Yeah. You said there was... I'm what? pretty sure... I, no, L, I didn't, I didn't tell anybody. That's why we, we came here. Yeah, we needed to talk to you about that because we were just talking about it. And it was L's idea. She said, you know, like... Um, Let me go talk to you about it. You look like you were in a rush, like you're about to leave or something. Are you Okay. Oh, Something that's, you want to tell us? No, that's right. That's, that I, you don't totally, know. Yeah, no, you wait, didn't tell me that. I don't know what wait, I was talking Eric, about. Eric, no, don't how, listen to me. Don't how listen to me. I wouldn't have told you that. I found out about this yesterday. The only time I've seen fine, you was earlier today when I walked in. I said, Because I looked! What? Should we be here? Masha. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You've been tapping? On us? Wait, who? You have been tapping. Whoa. I'm so sorry. Me? I'm so sorry. Uh, for how long? I don't, I don't know, like three or three or four years. You mean like when the snap happened? Why? You guys broke up in high school. High s- what the f- yeah. fuck are you doing? I. Wait, are you guys together? Yes. Yeah, oh, me and me. L have been together for six years now. Like, we live in an apartment together. And sometimes Eric comes over and we watch a movie. And sometimes I go to Eric's house and we watch a movie. But I didn't realize that that meant that when I wasn't with Eric, that I was also still with Eric. Who knows? Was it my touch? Was it my ears? Was it my sight? I mean, I, I mean, you and L obviously go way back. So who knows? Left and right, maybe. Dude, I thought you said you would never do this. You said you don't do this and you would never do this. And, and so you tell me I now. I lied! That- so you're a liar. Yeah, man. Uh, that's 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 what I've been. That's who I am. All right. All Look, right. I can wait. Is there? You just gotta be good reason. There's gotta be when. Oh my God. When my when our when half when the snap happened, I had to see who was safe. I I wanted to see who was safe, and when I checked on checked on you. I saw Daniel. And then we all met up at Lost Property? Yeah. So you've been spying on us? Since you got back. 
like vicariously putting yourself that's, into. Oh, okay. we don't need to. I just don't understand why else you would do that. We like. How often do you do this? There's just not a lot to look forward to these days. And it's just that being, oh God, being Why? there with Why? you because it feels good. That's it? You guys never did anything to cope with the snap that you're not proud of? Don't. Please, please no, don't. No, 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 no. Please don't. Eric, you've been the only family Masha and I have had for years now. And is this, you know, weird or inappropriate? Maybe. But I know you've been trying to be better. I know you've been trying to be the best for us. You help me look for my sister every day. You're flawed. We're all fucking flawed. Have you been looking yeah, except for our if sister you're talking about day? trying to be better, maybe starting today. Because if you know about We've been- what I was talking to Elle about, that was literally a couple hours ago. We've been busy, man. We were in the. There's another me. Can I just there's an entire clone. There's there's a lot going on that that, that that I'd love to catch you up on. But right now, I'm not only guilty. Blood on my hands again, again. But now this, and I'm sorry, this is not, I'm not, I'm not the one that's supposed to be. I, no, trust me. I didn't come here planning on. It's just, any- <sighs> look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You swore you when would never we, do that. I know. Yeah. And. We joke about it. Yep. And I. And what, what, what have you seen? Okay, I mean, do, well, do we really want to ask that question? I mean, Can we please just stop for a second? Uh, Lily, I, are, are you looking for Rose every single day? Yes. He's been helping me. What? I thought we talked about this. I th- you don't, do you not understand how unsafe it is for you to go out? Why didn't you tell me? Because you gave up. I didn't give up, okay? I already told you. There's not much we can do. And, and I know you don't agree with do me. Do you want to say what you came here to say, Daniel? So we can get that information and then we can go? Why don't you tell them? Yeah, yeah, Eric. Why don't you be the one? Go for it. From what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong... You came to tell me about the fact that S.H.I.E.L.D. is looking to employ or work with or in some way integrate the Castletons, which may or may not still be linked to Tony Stark wherever he is to assume some sort of authoritarian police control over at least the city, if not more than that. This has something to do with this tiebreaker bullshit, which is what I want to tell you about. But really... All I'd like to do right now is kind of go away. If everybody, if I could just like, th- there's a lot. No, Eric, you don't get to run from this one. All right. When you called me in Bolivia, I understood. Okay. Several years going by, couldn't talk to my best friend. And then we come back. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But this, this is not a cowering situation. Okay. It's going to take a long time to rebuild any sort of fucking trust between the two of us, by the way. But. How am I supposed to trust that you're not going to keep doing this? You can't. Nobody can trust me. That's, no, that's just part of the deal. That's what it is. Because even if I do or if I don't, there's always the idea that I might. And I, you don't get it. I spent so much of my life looking into the fucking bowels of human potential, seeing just the worst, the worst in what people were capable of. And when I found out that it was for the wrong cause... It shattered every notion of goodwill I had towards any living being until I saw the two of you interact. And then for fucking once, I felt like people were good and okay. And I felt happy and trusted and loved. (sighs) Look, dude. I, uh, we'll talk about it some other time. I... I'm not saying I don't understand. It's just... No matter what, we need to figure out what's happening with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Castletons and enforcing new law enforcement that no one else is picking. That's pretty messed up. Yeah. And I don't exactly have high-level access or anything, so everything I've heard has just kind of been through the grapevine. But, um, but yeah, it sounds eerily similar to before but for whatever reason they don't see the castle as you know as bad as hydra which i mean i mean how could you know you know how can you trust an outsider after all of that it sounds so much like the project inside bullshit all over again hydra literally used to have a base called the hydra castle you know that but of course 
it's all connected because a lot of the Castletons are former Stark employees, and as you know, Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have been pretty buddy-buddy since, like, mm, forever. Thanks, Howard. And with the organization being as small as it is, and technically in its second iteration, going from Fury to Coulson to Gonzalez to Mace to Mackenzie to whoever the fuck it is now, Steve Rogers is our lifeblood. Oop, just kidding. Don't trust Rogers at all. Also, if you're hiding anything about where he is, we'll kill you. We're at war with the Inhumans. The who? Classified. Earth's being invaded again. Why? Classified. I can't keep track of a single god damn thing they do and they don't tell low-level agents like me anything. All I know is there's some sort of deal. And I don't want to be a part of it. So. The question is, do we go after S.H.I.E.L.D. or do we go after this tiebreaker? But I mean, we don't even know where to go for that. I don't even know what happened on your guys' last mission. I don't even know anything about the tiebreaker. I... I mean, your ears are everywhere, so you would be the one to know. Well, my literal ears are also somewhere. Look, the last the last person we worked with, uh, there's another, there's a, there's there's another me out there. There's a, a perfect, like life model decoy, but it's real life of me, with whoever is at the core of this right now. And I can't I can't track me right now, but I know I've got. You have a clone. I have a, yeah, not to, this doesn't help my argument, but yeah, I have a clone. There. It wasn't his choice. It, it was me. It was my idea. It's That's crazy, but also a good idea. Yeah, so I'm thinking, I can't, I don't, I, I lost, I, I don't know where I am, but I've got a phone on the same phone. I can I can take it to take, take it to gift bag, take it to Theo. He can see what we can find, and we can just, we can fix this, and we can, we can make it right, and we can figure I this out. I say you break in the shield. Roach. Roach. What? How long have you been here? Last couple minutes. I missed the whole beginning thing. Uh, no big deal. Uh, clearly some personal matters going on. This is always part of the process. Where's Siggy, by the way? Oh, he, um, he left. We're, we're worried about him. If you know where he might be or where he goes or any way to contact him, I think he's, he's, he might try to do something really dumb right now. He went to his people. Lizard men. He's going down to the sewers. Whoever's left. They get, you know, on that last mission? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hey, he's real loyal to them, right? They they gave him a home back in the day when being a freak wasn't so popular. It really took solace in, the, in that community. Me and him ended up meeting up and trying to do the same thing with the fort one way or another. Still keeps in contact. Uh, I guess they run a printing shop or something like that. And they haven't stopped. Well, now they have. Look, I, uh... <clears throat> I say all this moping is a waste of time. Healthy, we gotta move before things get moving. If you catch my drift, sick trench coats creeping around the fort, and you know what? I see it as an opportunity. Yo, Dan, <laughs> Agent Fragrant, you got access, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He does. Well, then bust your ass in there. Take the scavenger scavengers and bust into the nearest outpost. I don't know where it is, but I know you know something. There's gotta be something nearby, right? Somewhere we can get intel. If Siggy's going after whatever they're doing, I hope, for the love of God, I can catch up to him, because if I lose that guy, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. But we can maybe find, what, you said you have some sort of a spy out there? Uh, yeah. It's it's a, it's a literal clone. There's a clone of me out there. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure I was following, because that's some fucking Inception shit. Tell me. Not to mention the whole... There's a lot of layers here. This is like a big, stupid, super Some onion. would say it's overly complicated. Yes, okay. I want to run a tight ship here. You know what I'm saying? If the castle tins are up to no good, then we got to go after them. My bias has been confirmed, yo. Yeah, but then I'm going to have to, like, break in, right? I mean, that's my job. Then I'm going to, like, have to... I... I we you're can, in the database too, Eric. I mean, if they know that we did this, they're going to come after us. And then we're going to... Dude, they're, are, they're already after me. I've got nothing this point to lose. And you said you wanted to quit anyway, right? Go out in style. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, there's the Stark HQ in downtown about the industrial district, but they're gonna have way, way too much heat. So I guess there's this outpost out in Death Valley, kind of like an intermediary storage unit, basically. Let's go. Well, that's just the problem, isn't it? You said it yourself. You can't be trusted. You know what? Eric? Yeah. 
I trust you. Come here. Lily. Oh, you really... Look, that's not... Lily, what are you... Mm. Oh my god, Lily, what are you doing? He literally just lied to his best friend. If he can help us, and he has helped us, and I trust the son of a bitch despite everything, I don't care. Plus, when's the last time someone hugged you? I mean, that would probably explain why you did it in the first place, if that hasn't been happening in a while. Okay, vacation. everybody. Has no one hugged you? Get it. Eric said. We all get it. Eric said. Al, why don't you help out Roach? Eric's, Eric's okay. You Eric's got contacts, fine. right? You know some people. <laughs> Thank you, Masha. Yes. You stay here. I don't know. The Thank shield thing might go south pretty quick. Theo hears the word shield outpost, and he runs upstairs. Hey, Ro- are, are we doing this? I mean, we've talked about this for a couple of years, but... Our, Now's the our, time. We got an operative. Ain't that right, Dan? If you're ready to do it, you're ready to quit. I heard that conversation. I was looking for a good window, and the window's open. There's a nice, cool breeze of break-in. Let's fucking surf the wind while we have it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I have some tech in prep for this, but also like, a massive favor. We need our system updated like something fierce. I'm working on 2013 info here. Like I've I've got like um, the front of a Manila folder on you. I've got it, it's it's trash. Like it's it's pretty bad. It's uh yeah. Um, um I mean this this is extracurricular. But if you could get us, especially with what I just found and what I'm looking at with with you. Which and by like, the way, just in case it wasn't clear, Eric, we've known about your powers the whole time. Oh fucking really? Yes. God yeah. damn it. Well, you yeah. should stop lying, bro. It's kind of dumb. I mean, I figured you'd come and talk to me about it if you if it was you know you got your own thing. That being said. I need you to take a box into their database and please copy it for me. You see any tech? Take that shit. Take it. Swoop it. Grab it. Pim stuff. Wakandan stuff. Stark stuff. I don't give a shit. What? Chaturi stuff. What else is there? Grab it. Grab it. Theo's got all sorts of gadgets he's working on. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to spoil it for him. But yeah, just yeah, grab yeah, yeah. whatever you can. Castleton's. That can't happen. They're up to no good. I've noticed at the very beginning. That can't happen. Like, no more suits. No more of this superheroes trying to rule the world with some robotic iron fist. I'm, I'm not okay with that. Meanwhile, L, you staying here, reporter? Yes. Me, you, and Theo, we'll hold up the fort, and we'll uh, we'll uh, try to track down Siggy or something. I don't know if I can do it. I mean, sh- What do you I, mean? I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. In, Are you worried about your powers? Do um, you have a scheduling conflict? Just feeling really overwhelmed right now. We can't make you go, but we do need you there. I just don't. Masha, which power did you just lose? Healing. Did you lose one? Yeah, I lost healing. I'm so sorry. Did it let you choose? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to lose that one. I know. I'm sorry. I've been trying so hard to figure out what, what's going on with you. If you get that database, they've got way more than I do. If maybe we can find something that'll help. Also, Masha, for, I mean, what it's worth, like, literally my power is smelling good. But not, like, smelling well like your sister. Like, just, I just smell good. I don't have anything extraordinary. I don't to get care. Into this situation. I don't care about my powers. I don't know. I'm just finding like I just don't understand why I'm even here. I don't mean to th- insult anybody. I just right now I just don't really feel like um like I just feel like everybody. I've been trying to be really honest with everybody, and I don't feel like anyone's being honest with me. I just don't know if. I'm that helpful anymore, and the only power I wanted to keep was healing, but now I just, fine, I'm accepting that I'm getting rid of them. I don't need to have them anyway. But I'll come if it means that I can find out who I am and what's going on. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They gotta have intel. Okay. I'm glad you're saying these things, and we're being honest with each other now. Because we are a family. For better or for worse. You and I are not related by blood, but you are my family. And that now extends to some of these other weirdos and misfits too. 
We all have each other's backs, but we all need to all have each other's backs. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a powerhouse of answers. If you're going to find anything about yourself, it's going to be there. Okay. And I understand what you mean by not feeling useful or feeling confused as to why you're here. And while not exactly the paragon of, uh, you know, uh, good sense or anyone who should be giving advice at the moment, um, sometimes taking a selfish action could uh, bring you closer to um, what it is you're supposed to be doing for people you care about. Okay. We're together, so we're in the right place, yeah? Yeah. 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 Low-carb soup? That would be good. You know, I always looked up to y'all, but I never had any powers. But I made up my mind. I'm a super hero. Soup. Er, hero. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Damn right, soup guy. Big ass soup. Big ass soup. Everybody get their speech in. All right. Let's go quit my job. Well, that's what I'm telling myself. You guys can have your own. And you stay the fuck out of my head. I'll talk about that later. Yep. Yeah. Sided Stories is produced by Sage GC, Jessica Dahlgren, and Travis Reeves. Masha Morova was played by Jessica Dahlgren. Eric Stanton was played by Travis Reeves. Lily Klein was played by Emily Ervelina. Additional voices by David Mitchmerheisen, Chad Ellis, Caitlin Cornell, and M. Colton Brodeur. Ugh, the sewers. I thought it smelled bad in the fortress. Forgot to close the main hall. There we go. Uh, hey guys? Hello? Anyone? Hmm. Oh, right, the password. Ah, uh, shit, what was it this week? Uh, I need to stay on top of the newsletters. Uh, oh. I-, I was sent by the man from the Knickerbocker with the African Grey. Hey. It's good to see you guys. Listen. Non-stop print shop? It stopped. For good. What do we do? We're not gonna take this sitting down. We're not gonna hide down here in the sewers and pretend that everything's alright. That we're better off. I think it's about time we take a stand. Music, editing, and sound design by Sage GC. Character artwork by Rhea Lonsdale. Episode artwork by Josh Wolf. Special thanks to Greg Reasoner, Matt Johnston, and all our Patreon supporters. Podcast directed by Sage GC. You can get the soundtrack to this series for free at sagegc.com slash music. Follow 20 Sided Stories on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at 20 Sided Stories. That's 20 Sided Stories. Or visit our website at 20sidedstories.com. Shotgun, let's go. Uh, Hold on, did Henry ever fix your car after he broke it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was actually pretty fine. I I ended up calling a tow truck, and they just brought it to the fort, and everybody just helped and fixed it, so yay. Isn't there, there's a, like a mechanic hero, right? There's a guy yeah, who's a superhero. Yeah, yeah, his just... name is Otto, so <laughs> it's auto like repair. This place. Let's go fast from this place. <laughs> <laughs>